Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just keeping warm by this fire and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... Is there any other place in our solar system that has liquid water? Well, that's an awesome question. I'm thinking, try this. You'll need a campfire, a couple of poles or sticks, and most importantly, an adult. Okay, first thing, you are going to get an adult to help you light a campfire. If you're 17 and you have to ask me, do I need an adult? Then my answer is, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's say that this fire is our sun. First thing you're going to do is you're going to crouch down next to the fire. You're going to get close. Ah, uh, not too close. You know, you don't want to, you know, burn up or anything. Okay, I'm right next to this super hot fire. Now it's super boiling, steamy hot. Uh, in fact, I don't even want to be here. I mean, if I continue to be here, uh, I'm going to look like some burnt up marshmallow. Okay, you are going to mark this spot with a pole or a stick. <laughs> uh, mark it with a pole or a stick. Okay, now you're going to head out until you can't feel the fire's heat anymore. Let's go. Okay, from this spot, I can't feel the heat from the fire at all. It's an icy, frozen, cold spot. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab a stick or a pole to uh, mark this spot, too. Uh, you want to go ahead and mark this spot. Check this out. Right here is a nice, comfortable zone. Over here is a boiling hot zone. And right here is a frozen point zone. So, if this is a frozen point zone, is it possible to have liquid water beyond this point? And if there is liquid water, where does the heat come from? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. When scientists search for liquid water in our solar system, they start with Venus. Unfortunately, the surface temperature of Venus is 462 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, which means any liquid water that may have been on Venus would have been boiled away, or any that is left on Venus would be a small amount of water vapor. Next, we look at Mars. Unfortunately, the average surface temperature of Mars is between minus 55 degrees Celsius and minus 145 degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, which means all the water that's still in the polar ice caps is frozen solid. Scientists believe that one of Jupiter's moons, Europa, may have liquid water under its icy crust. The surface of Europa is covered by frozen water. About five kilometers beneath this ice, there may be a hundred kilometer deep ocean of slushy ice or possibly a 50 kilometer deep liquid ocean. Gravitational forces keep Europa's interior warm because the competing pole of the planet Jupiter and the two closer moons, Ganymede and Io. As a result, Europa is squeezed and stretched slightly. This flexing causes friction inside the moon, producing enough heat to keep a slushy or possibly liquid ocean. So now you know how there could be water beyond the frozen point. You know, using a campfire to find the boiling and freezing point in our solar system? Is why science is so cool.